Welcome back to Trending Global. So today we're going to talk about the SGR investment of 3.6 billion US dollar which was funded by the Chinese government to our government of Kenya. Check this out. This is a Chinese built railway in the heart of Kenya. Yep, you heard that right. The SGR from Nairobi to Mombasa was built by Chinese developers and paid for by Kenya mostly through Chinese loans to the tune of $3.6 billion. The idea was to create a cheaper and faster connection between the two cities through a railway that Kenya hoped would essentially pay for itself. Except so far, it hasn't. Was just bidded off of one company in China with no competition. So, legally, China cannot threaten us because according to our constitution, they didn't meet the requirement to win the contract. So, we're not saying that we can't pay the SGR loan. We're just saying that as long as the railway is not giving returns, we can't pay from deficit. But the moment the railway starts making profits, we will pay back the loan. So that is it. It's that simple. So the the fear that people think that the China government will hawk our, our Kenya Ports Authority in Mombasa, like they did to Zambia, is Kenya is a very very strong country when it comes to its policies that protect itself. So as Kenya, as a Kenyan. I'm very confident with my country because we have a very strong constitution in the all of Africa continent and the third strongest constitution across the globe. So there is no way that China is going to shake us because we have very good policies to protect us and our country, irrespective of the investment coming from another country. No one will overcome our policies that they will own anything. Because the agreement was, as long as we make profits, we repay back. As long as there is loss, they have to wait. So there is another project China government wants to fund us. When that project give us profits, we will definitely repay it back. But the SGR one, you have to wait long. Thank you very much. Kindly like, comment and subscribe.